as another monument out here in this village representing something which I think my best guide will read and tell me. So this model was inaugurated by the Chief Minister of Nagaland in 2009. Okay, there's nothing much, okay? Anyway, okay. Now, anyway guys, the good news is we thought the place is closed at first because of the function. Thanks to Anung's dad, he convinced them so beautiful. Yeah, alright. So, look at these stairs they have painted so beautifully. Yeah. Okay guys, so let me continue and show you this beautiful step that they've painted. Where does it lead? Yeah. So we're going back to the place where the, the person who created his artwork, or the craftsman, uh, from a big block of wood, created beautiful uh, sculptures. Yes, the word is sculpture. Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. So we have met our caretaker of this place. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, he could pick his call and come and show us. I'm excited to enter this place. And see first the monkey. Come and show you because I've seen it earlier. So I can show you the monkeys. <laughs> so the monkeys are here. Oh, he's wearing a chain. I do feel bad for them. Yeah. His chain now. Dad is going to give food to the monkey. He's excited, he's excited. Look at him, he knows that is given. Let's check out this hut. Traditional, no? This is traditional. So this is a traditional pure traditional kitchen. Shut your They kept all oh, they made it so nicely, no? This is where we found rice Yeah, I know exactly. So that's how they hang. Similar. So probably this might be some so you got that and then you've got a good veranda and you can see your garden if you have one yeah I saw the traditional mat so this is traditional mat and I'll just take it out I think it's similar to us So this, yeah, this is a traditional mat. Similar. Yeah. See again, there is a traditional mat. Yeah, traditional. This one is for collect water. No? Sure, like a picture. No, picture. Water. These are your baskets, yeah. traditional baskets. Oh yeah. What do you call? I don't know. Makam. No, we call Lincolnot. Makam. And we call this somehow similar to this link nut. Basket. Yeah, basket. A cork, we call it. So we call traditionally cork, you call it? I'm uh, a Aku. 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 Some, some sound similar. Aku. Aku. And then we used to put water in the so bamboo like we this. This is where how do you eat rice? We used, a bowl. we used to put water in the bamboo like this. Now, so whenever we have, uh, what, whenever we have, 
we do go when the f f when we have fires okay at night or something uh, something went wrong then we can oh like an emergency to, yeah, for emergency for emergency yeah. okay <laughs> you store water so again this what you call okay for, she doesn't know but in kasi we call it klong and this is how we pound our rice and ginger the bigger the thing and i think this is also another way of using and that is where they store chicken in this basket yeah traditionally they have a sliding door yeah sliding door i think we all have similar uh kind of a structure you notice this is where we will start the main route to this park it looks like an eco, it is an eco park i would say and on top of this there's a hill we climb up yeah look at these mistletoes what i talk about i mean in our places it's starting to disappear the mistletoes but here it's like going wild like everywhere you'll see mistletoe mistletoe so yeah so this is i mean right over here after this trail we end up in a pond uh, it's a little bit dried up the pond they believe that they can't spit right spit or what else what else okay so they why not ah, i will take it i can swim <laughs> yeah that's the only thing i'll have to be frozen anyway yeah there's a lot of fishes in this pond so all right we have reached the suspension bridge and who wants to come first? You wanna come? You scared? Come! Come! So... <laughs> Let's continue the vlog. Let's climb up, Chiba. Climbing this hill. As you can see, okay, let me show the pond. I told you, it's less, the water's less actually due to winter season. Or oh, it'll be at its brim if it's in the summer. Right, let's climb the stairs. Okay. I'm really glad this caretaker was quick enough to open the gate and come back and to give us a tour and allowing us to to come in and enter to see this place because this is my one time experience I don't know next time will I, I mean I might come this side but will I again come to this place I don't know so yeah as you can see they've created a beautiful structure where these sculptures stand Okay, let me go closer to them. Okay, these are made from a wood log. Or a log, as you can say. See this structure. So they're made of wood, exactly. These craftsmen have designed it so beautifully. Look at the cutting of these wood. Intricate design, I would say. See, you can see there's a crack just to show you that this is actual wood. <coughs> and yeah, it's beautiful, the structure. Uh, you can see the morong. They represent. And then on the head uh, of a naga and with his hand holding. Uh, I think that's a baby on top, yeah, on a womb. So something, this is a structure. Okay, let's see the other one. 
this I think it present unity all of them standing giving hand in hand and holding something on the structure on top well I'm not the expert again <laughs> to be defining all this but just whatever this sculpture has to show here's a mother and a child holding a bird probably oh. it represents peace and tranquility in the state yes and she is also beneath it it's also filled with bird on her feet check this out this is a one full tree where he carves out the entire sculpture sorry my hands are wow yeah, it's a whole tree. And there he has carved the traditional Naga. I think there's some beliefs probably. I'm not sure. And this one represents an eagle. Oh no, a hornbill, sorry. So this one represents a hornbill. This is so beautiful. For Naga, they always have a belief in hornbill because it represents their culture so you can see these hornbills all around the this tree that's been carved wow that's amazing and this is done by one man uh, i would like to inform you uh, what's the name of this person can you ask that or someone all right this other look at the carving of this beautiful flowers on it and again a mother and a child or a, oh no i think this represents itzabin and jinnah jinnah and itzabin oh they they have yeah i see i'm just with, wow all right there's a story on every thing there's a story about this snake is this a, do you have any story on this because oh, this is story of this, this snake is the spirit of that form. of this yeah he used to protect the sister okay wait see so exactly what is this all about i mean the snake what does it say it's a spirit of that bond of the bond what yeah it seems it uh, this this snake helps the villagers during the war. War, yeah. okay. So this was the old belief actually. Uh, now most of them are Christians, so most of them don't have this belief. But traditionally, this is something uh, the the one who is still holding the roots, the Naga roots, uh, believe of this uh, snake that has a bird, right? This, this, snake, this is a spirit. Oh, it's a spirit. The yeah. snake is a spirit. Uh, and it the, helps the villagers from the enemy. Okay, okay. The snake is kind of like a protector or something against the enemy mm -hmm. during the time when the when the Nagas were headhunters.
of the exactly the craftsman. Uh, the first person is named Pindang, and there are two craftsmen who have crafted all those wood beautifully. Yeah, so Pindang is one. And let me get the other name so that every any one of you who wants to find out this place, wants to know the artist or the craftsman, you will know. He's actually from this village itself. <laughs> 